In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Connect uh, 4 game. Um, Connect 4 is the old traditional uh, game where you have to get four in a row to win. Um, looks something like this. So we're going to make a grid that is six by seven. And I'm, I'm going to actually make the, the pieces, the little coins you put in there, um, little ovals, um, yellow and red. Uh, and I'll make my uh, default color, if it's empty, white with a black background. That's what I'm going to go for here. So I have some starter code, which, um, I'll, of course, I'll share in the description. Uh, you can, um, let's do that. Let's copy that and um, paste it in here. And so this is just kind of like a traditional um, empty GUI I got going on here. You'll see if I run this, and you can put this in any Java editor. Um, see if I run this, it's just an empty black screen. I have a black background. I have some text letting me know it's Red's turn. Uh, in this game, I'm gonna let Red go first by default. Um, and let me just show you a couple quick things. You can change the size. Just make sure you don't make it smaller than your grid size. Um, I have uh, a few class variables. Uh, actually, start X and start Y don't really need to be class variables, but we'll be using them for sure. And cell width, that's the size of the little coin. The little coins you're going to drop in your um, slots there, the uh, red and yellow ovals. Um, turn, turn I have equal to two um, because it's red's turn to start, and I have red uh, going whenever turn is um, even. And then when it's odd, um, it's going to be yellow's turn. I have an increment every time you click the screen. And I can show you that real quick. I'll scroll down to this where um, every time the mouse is pressed, we're going to increment turn. Now we can account for um, if it's a faulty, um, I'll get into that in a future video, how we'll take, you know, any faulty click that's not meant to be a turn. Um, we don't want to increment that, right? Um, so there's our rows and columns, it's six by seven. I create a grid that is of type color and that um, I'll show you how that works. So like I said, by default, I'm going to set that to be um, white. Uh, and so let me let me kind of just show you how that works. So I'm going to paste in this line here. So we're going to we have this um, double for loop here that goes through and looks at every cell in our six by seven grid and sets it to a color. And so I'm making them all white by default. So um, when you create a new color, if you're going to make it white, it's going to be 255, 255, 255 for RGB. Um, and so that's good. That's all we need to do now. We can do most of our work in this paint component, which is the kind of where um, things get shown to the screen. Um, so I already did this where I have a black background. So 000, zero, zero for RGB. And I have a rectangle that rectangle that's the size of our screen. You saw that when I ran it. Um, so let's actually get um, something to show on the screen, like oval, one of our ovals, right? So inside another for loop that's going to go through our entire grid every time we paint to the screen. Um, and we're going to set the color. We're going to fill an oval. Um, and we're going to set it to the color that is specified by the the grid spot that is um, correlated co you know in coordination with that cell on our grid right so um by you know first time through these are all going to be white um and this start x and start y i have it starting in the top left hand corner which is zero zero on your x and y coordinate and i have my cell width which i already showed you was 40 so the should be oval so right now if we were to run this um we should it's not going to be much we should just have one oval in uh, the top right left hand corner there we go um and uh, so we need to um remedy that we need to make um so what we need to do is so really we we did paint um 42 ovals six times seven uh, but they're all right on top of each other because we're not changing our x and y axis so we need to do that let's um do start x um, equals start x. You can do plus equals as well. Um, plus cell width. That would make sense. So that spaces it out exactly uh, so they're not on top of each other. You're moving it over uh, by the cell width, right? You put a semicolon at the end there. And if we go ahead and run that, uh, 
Uh, we should get some ovals going. Yep, going across the screen there. <laughs> That's not still not ideal, but it's a little more than what we have. We want to stop this at seven and have it go back and start here again, then go back, right? Um, and so to do that, we need to, um, you know, if you if you if you're looking at this, the, you know, so for every row, we're going to go ahead and fill in the columns for that row. So we did that. So first time through this, we set one row all the columns. So after that for loop, that inner for loop, we need to reset this start X back to zero. That was the problem. So that needs to go back to zero. Um, so now, now when I run this, we're going to get our, uh, should just be seven across. Perfect. All right. So now last thing I want to do before um, uh, end this video is have we're going to start y to be incremented. I'm going to do plus equals cell width. And let's go ahead and run that. And there we go. There's our grid. Perfect. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get these spots when you click on them to turn yellow or red. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.